Do you like religious TV? I love religious TV. I once sat in a motel room in Meridian, Mississippi, watching a Pentecostal revival meeting that lasted three and a half hours, and they didn't even use snakes. Your sins have to pop out somewhere. Little children have acne. Why? I can tell you why. What little boys do in the bedroom at night. It's a natural process of the fallen creature, what he does in the bedroom at night. You tie his hands. The Catholics used to tie their hands. Tie the girl's hands. Wouldn't do any good. Tie them all you want. Because it's in their nature. It's a fallen nature, what they do in the bedroom at night. Why does the acne? That's why acne's on these young people's face. That's what they do. Did she say that's why acne is on their faces? What a babe, right? But right now, time to get serious. It's time for the weekly Biblical Scholarship Report. And I want to ask you, are you like me? You're watching The Preacher on TV, and you want to say, wait a minute, does it say that in the Bible? And they will attack our most extreme northern border, which is Alaska of today, and will bring thee upon the mountains, or that is to say the states or nation of Israel. And actually, uh, Canada is a part of Israel today, parts of the, the Great Britain, America, Ephraim, Manasseh. You know, you can learn a lot from these shows that you would never guess. You'd probably have to go back to the original Hebrew to find out some of this stuff. What I really like, though, is the guys that try to sell you stuff. You send a donation, they send you like a prayer cloth. I want to mention to you also, we have a, a beautiful, uh, praise God, a, a beautiful picture right here. Praise God that I had made amen and give you that for a donation that you go ahead and, 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 and call in that donation amen no matter how much you call in praise God will send you uh, give us twenty dollars twenty five dollars whatever God lays on your heart we have different uh, 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 pictures amen there's another uh, different picture also we have another picture praise God and we're giving you these pictures for a donation to help keep this ministry going. Best of the land. And when I said that then, I saw a new car for someone, someone you've never had a new car. There is faith right now for a new car. If you'll see today for that new car, the loan will go through. You will get that car. Called up by someone I just saw was going to get a company car. Did you follow that? A company car. Now that is impressive. You're going to get a car and you don't even have to pay for it. But then the other guy, the guy before that got a loan on his car, but Bob forgot to pray for a low interest rate. He could have just created one of them 12-year payout cars. This is Seventh-day Adventist minister John Osborne of Eustis, Florida, who, if you remember from two weeks ago, he wanted people to send guns to him, firearms for Christ. Now watch this. Donors want to donate guns, and Richard has checked into this, and it's illegal for us to ship guns. Okay. They have to go to a licensed dealer, so it's best for, for our constituents to dispose of them in their local area. Those of you that have guns, please do not send them to us. Go to your local dealer. It is against the law, for, we have checked into it, for us to receive these types of things. So go to your local gun dealer, turn them in, send us the cash. God bless you. Shoot. I already put my AK-47 in the mail. Why didn't he tell me sooner? Finally, we've got Sister Spring from Now Take My Hand Missions International of Long Beach, California. Where else would she be? And, uh, well, ju just watch this. Boys and girls, put in tame return. You know who was here last time, last month, was who? Blueberry. And he got a little gel lousy. Jealous, right? We call it gel lousy in our vocabulary. But he's a good boy. He's your mascot, and he's here, and he likes Blueberry. Blueberry's getting so hairy. Next time you see him, he'll probably be... Hair will be hanging over the chair here. But anyhow, Puddin' Tame is glad to be back. He's going to sit right down here and listen very carefully. Trying to suck us in with the old teddy bear pitch, eh? In case you didn't catch that, that was not Blueberry the Bear. Blueberry the Bear was on last month. That particular evangelist bear is named Puddin' Tame. And finally, we have evangelist Jonathan Bell. And Jonathan here is going to guide us gently toward a fuller understanding of the gospel. You know, people don't even want to know the truth. People don't want to know the truth in the Bible. If you want to turn the channel, go ahead, fool. Turn the channel. If you want to learn something about God, shut your mouth and listen to me for a minute. It don't matter how big or how hot shot you think you are for the executive for IBM. I mean, give me a break. 
What you do for a living has got nothing to do with what, what really matters to God. God said he chose the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Do you know if you're an intellectual, you'll probably end up in hell for it? Well, remember, God takes many forms, and some of them are weird. You've been watching Joe Bob's God Stuff. I'm Joe Bob Briggs. Good night. Satan gave me this mess. I mean, it's a lie of the devil. I shouldn't have said that.